This is my brand new pinion from Tempest Knives. I'm really, really excited about this knife. This was one of the only knives, or first knives, I should say, that I've gotten in on the pre-order. Um, I had the chance to check out the um, prototype, Casey of the Knives Fast channel, who uh, is the um, owner-operator of Tempest Knives. There's their cool logo and their cool proprietary pivot also. Um, sent me the prototype uh, months back, and I really liked it a lot and uh so much so that when the um when the pre-order came up i jumped on it uh knowing that it was going to be available in this sumptuous um contoured black micarta i really love this handle uh, i got this two days ago as of this recording and it has not left my pocket it has been a part of my carry the whole time and it's done some work this is the one that i've been pulling out to do some work and for a couple of days, it was wearing all the scum, not the scum, the tape residue and and uh, stuff from all of the stuff I was doing with it, which was just breaking down some boxes. We got a new fire pit and some other stuff uh, for our patio. And I had a cut-a-thon with this and uh, the Best Tech Man. And it was so much fun. This knife cruises through that cardboard. It's, uh, it's 14C28N, 14C28. 28 end blade steel you can see right there flat ground um the blade is a reverse tanto i'm gonna just say it i've been so hesitant to, to use that term but it is a reverse tanto and a very good looking one and um oh before i forget oh uh, I'm, I'm all over the place here very good looking blade really going through the cardboard nicely. That's what I was trying to get at. The 14C28N factory edge was pretty good. Uh, did the cardboard well, and then I strapped it up, and then it just, man, it it uh, it responds very well to the strop and keeps the edge nicely, and the geometry was great, is great. So uh, what, what I was going to say, I don't want to forget to say this. This is one of the best looking knives closed. Uh, it's been sitting, you know, on my desk, and it was on the counter last night while I was cooking, and I kept looking at it, and it's a very good-looking knife closed. It does look like a piece of, I don't know, it looks like a little bit like a car, looks a little bit like an airplane, looks a little bit like a speedboat, something, I don't know. It it just looks fast sitting there, and I guess that's, that's not a coincidence. Knives fast, that looks like a five-spoke wheel of a sports car, perhaps a an old Mustang. Um, so I, I really love the way this thing looks closed. Um, open, it looks cool too. It's an unusual shape, I gotta say. I was showing it to my girls. What do you think of this? Oh man, that blade shape. And they love the, they love the window in it and the aggressive tip. I like the aggressive tip too. You might look at this and think, well, that's not that aggressive. It looks more utilitarian because the tip is down low, so it makes it easy to do these kind of scoring cuts and these kind of pull cuts for opening stuff. But also look at that that triangular drop to the tip. And then when you look at it from this aspect, it's a big, it's a pyramid. So this would, this would make a, um, you know, I always look at it through this lens as well, because, you know, you, you, you need to puncture things, not just, not just in a, um, well, you just you need to puncture things, and I do like that tip. It is it doesn't look as aggressive as it is. I guess is what I'm trying to say. It looks charming to me. This is a charming blade on a really comfortable handle, and the overall package is very handsome. Kind of like the um, Mach 51, his his uh, first Casey's first knife, a. Uh, prototype that was in uh, it was a titanium frame lock i believe um but it had just had this sort of speedy look to it it was a drop point but it had this this sort of hump with the with the window it looked like the canopy of a of a p51 a very cool look and signature style emerging from kc dig it um okay so moving back here this is made by qsp by the way and so well made. Uh, the the prototype I had was awesome, but this man, it takes the cake. 
the action is addictive. It's just how I like it. Um, the way it falls in. I mean, I'm a fidgeter, so I do like to do this. But I don't... I. I am marvel. I, I marvel at knives that drop so fast that it's scary, but I don't prefer that. This to me is a more gratifying drop, a controlled drop. <laughs> For what that's worth. Again, so we have this big window here, this big vent, and you can open it. Uh, my preferred method is the Spidey flick. You can slow roll it with your thumb. You can flick it with the thumb all comfortably and all easily it just pops out the detent is just very nicely dialed in in such a way that the action on the on the flick is crisp and robust but you're not fighting to break it open uh, and i believe that's due to the fact that it's a liner lock and you're not putting any pressure on the lock and uh, against the blade look at that nice wire clip uh i saw um kev lefty edc's he's got the um the lynch clip a black titanium lynch clip i think i'm gonna go that way too i i do like uh this is actually i like this spring clip better than my um than some of the others i have i don't have too many i don't prefer spring clips um sometimes they feel flimsy this one does not this one feels like it's a i don't know stouter gauge or something I don't know, but if the standard Lynch clip fits, I guess it's got to be the same gauge. But you can swap it to the other side. And I know, let's see, who was I speaking with? Um, I'm trying to remember who, uh, one of the designers I had on the show was talking about how they like, and it wasn't Casey, uh, but they like the spring clips because they're rounded and soft and he works on cars. And so if he hits the upholstery or the steering wheel coming in and out of the car, this is the kindest um, sort of surface as opposed to something with an edge, with a metal edge that might gouge the leather steering wheel. So interesting. Um, oh, sorry about that. Interesting. Interesting. I don't, I'm not concerned about that. So I will probably get the, the black Lynch clip. I also just like black clips in general because the less attention I can draw to my pockets, the better because they're all full of knives. <laughs> Um, this micarta has has darkened nicely in the past few days. I've used it a lot, held it a lot, fidgeted a lot with it, granted. But uh, I feel like a lot of micarta does not respond like this. I like when micarta responds like this. It's like the uh, black micarta on my Sebenza 21 uh, from 2016. Uh, it came gray. I was like, it, it was the same color as the blasted titanium. And then after gripping it like five times, it got black like this. I just love that. I think that's because it's an end cut. Sorry if you just heard my stomach. KC, man, nicely done. I really like this. And I think QSP did it. just a bang up job. It feels so solid, so nice. This, this is one, this is something that you cannot express or in words or in a video, but this one is just a delight to, to fidget with. Yeah. Very, very sharp, uh, especially after strapping it up. Uh, my, um, and after, you know, after that cardboard, the cardboard did a number on it. All right, let me show you, uh, show it to you with a couple of knives. Here it is with the PM2 for size comparison. Pretty much the same sort of dimensions here. You get a little bit more cutting edge. Surprise, surprise on the pinion. It's like any knife I compare uh, this to, you get more cutting edge. Not just in the PM2, but, you know. And here it is with a 3-inch. That's the RSK Mark I from Hogue and Mr. Doug Ritter. And, uh, well, that's it. This is not a comparison video. I just wanted to uh, uh, show this off because this one is mine. I know you've seen, well, or you may have seen my first video on this one with the prototype. But this is mine, and I'm so happy and proud uh, to own it and use it. So uh, check it out. Go to the TempestKnives.com. Uh, they can be had there. And uh, they come also in a Thunderhead blue. That's what I'm calling it. And I think black G10. Um, to me, this is, 
this is the this is the Johns right here. If anyone's old enough to remember that when people said that stupid thing. Uh, oh, also nested liners. Sorry, I forgot to mention with weight relief. All right, there you go. It's the pinion from Tempest Knives, and I'll be quiet. Take care.